Alright, uh, this is my second attempt at recording this. Hopefully this actually works. Um, I am going to make a video on how to make Madden Ultimate Team 12 coins. Now before I start, this is my auction block right here. I got one uniform up. It's the Rams away. Whether or not it sells during this episode, who knows. I'm starting off with 931,000 coins. Uh, hold on. I don't know what's going on here, but... Okay, so anyway. Here's what you do. Now, before I start, this is a very temperamental setup. Uh, this is not a perfect setup. As you can see, this is not the best quality, but this is what I have. And not only that, but this is not going to tell you how to do the scouting report glitch because, in my opinion, if you're going to resort to doing the scouting report glitch to earn a whole 2,000 coins and waste other people's time matching up like people waste other people's time by matching up with them and doing the scouting report glitch and giving them like just to just to waste other people's time then you aren't a human being to me to be honest because if you're doing that you kind of have no standards as to you know what you're willing to do now you don't have to buy coins you can buy coins and you know if you are struggling on coins and you have a little bit of Microsoft points in bank then yes you go ahead and buy coins if you must but if you have enough coins to purchase a bronze pack or a silver pack then this is what you do okay so here's the packs bronze silver gold gold premium and legendary just to show you I'm not screwing up anything. Yes, this is the bad setup. Sue me. This is not. I'm trying to figure shit out here. I'm trying to figure it out. But anyways, this is what you do. We're going to buy a bronze pack. It's 1,000 coins. Keep in mind we started with 931,000. We're going to go down to 930,000. Now, since the uniform collection is out, it makes sense that the things to sell on what the fuck Cyril Obiozor okay that's an interesting name anyway uh, here are the uniforms we have here Bears Away and Raiders Away what you do is you select all with the right analog stick then unselect the two jerseys uniformed whatever you call them what you do is you post these up for the minimum buyout or more depending on what they go for on the block. I just post them for minimum to get them sold quickly. And what you do is you post them up for an hour and it's 50 coins posting. So if you have 100, you know, if you only have 1,000 coins, and I think one of them just sold right away. You know, if you have just 1,000 coins, yeah, one of them, something sold right away. Yeah, the Rams one. Okay, that's the one I had up earlier. So, right away, you can tell this is making... That was from an earlier, you know, attempt at this. And nothing sold yet, but if you put these up for minimum for one hour... Do this with bronze and silver packs only. You can... This is... That's the most cost-efficient way to do this. Because gold jerseys do not... Or gold uniforms do not sell. Gold uniforms do not sell, and gold packs, I'll get into them later, but gold packs typically are hit and miss with what you can sell. As you can see, look at that. Chicago one already sold, and we're going to wait for the Raiders one to sell. Keep in mind, I started with 931,000. We'll call it 932,000 because I had the Rams uniform in there that was about to sell. We'll just call it 932,000, even though it was up there while I was, you know, recording the previous attempt but as you can see the bears away already sold so look at that we're making coins we're making coins on packs I understand that you know I understand that some of you are you know maybe don't have patience and are like you know I want to earn coins now and you want to perform some sort of coin glitch but keep in mind that the coin glitch actually may take longer to earn you less coins than work in the auction house. 
And not only that, but it wastes your time, it wastes other people's time, and when EA finds out about that, more than likely if you do it, you're going to get banned. Just saying. And there you see the Raiders Away also sold. So along with discard, I think the discard was 2200 the discard was 220 coins. Discard was 220 coins. Posting fee was 50 for each card, so that's 100 coins. So it's 120 coins back on the pack. And then 2000 coins made with the uniforms. I could have gotten more, but I'm doing this as a demonstration. So that's a thousand a two a oh. I can't even talk. <laughs> Eleven hundred and twenty coin profit in about what two minutes, and the coin glitch takes what five minutes, ten minutes, depending on how long it takes you to match up. So we're gonna do another bronze pack here. As you can see, we only got one uniform. That's fine. You know, it's still. We're gonna. So then the pack cost you one thousand. So even if you only get one uniform you're still going to be making coins because you get the pack purchase back the pack price back for you know selling off the jersey that you get in it and even if you get none you're still more than likely going to get one or two uniforms out of the packs versus trying to do a coin glitch that again will probably get you banned once EA finds out about it and all that so again now let's go to let's let's go to gold packs here gold packs again are hit and miss now what you want to look for and keep in mind if you have a piece of paper or a spreadsheet uh, a spreadsheet will probably be better for this but I have a piece of paper as you can see this piece of paper has all the collection players I need it would probably be best to write down all the collection players all the players that are in a collection but I write down just the players that I need personally as uh, I've got screensaver problems there. There we go. But, not screensaver, but, uh, yeah, screensaver. Or whatever, I don't know. Okay, so let's go back. I think, uh, let me check here. Buffalo Way still hasn't sold yet. Now, gold packs, like I said, are hit and miss on collection cards. Typically, if you're doing collections, gold packs are the way to go. Gold premiums I'd stay away from unless you're trying to specifically get fancy players. Because fancy players, from what I can tell, are only available in gold premiums. But, uh... And then gold packs... Gold packs are, uh... You're looking for, uh... Collection players. Again, if you have a spreadsheet or whatever... Then look for those I mean typically you'll get one or two collection players in a pack and if you don't already have them you know that typically is the way to go to try and get your collection players but I mean it's up to you it depends depends on you know if you're trying to do collections if you are trying to build your coins off the ground I'd go with bronze and silver packs to try and sew the uniforms out of them otherwise Good. If you have enough coins, and you're, if you have like about 100, 200k, or you have like I do 900k or more, and you're trying to, I think something sold actually. Let's see. I think the, uh, yep, the away jersey sold. So look at that. We started this episode with let's call it 932,000, and we're up at 934,000. So, okay, it's 2k in. You could do this quicker because I was trying to do this as a demonstration and this is about as good or this is probably better for you to make more coin it makes you more coins probably than the coin glitch because you have to wait to match up with people then you have to wait for the game to load then you have to wait for it to select plays and it's just too much of a hassle and again it'll get you banned so that's just a little video I wanted to make on coin making and uh more stuff will be coming on the way soon. Later.